On this episode of Restored, the guys attempt to revive this once forgotten backburner project. Follow along as the crew attempts to examine and overcome all the hidden obstacles ahead. Restored Live, brought to you in part by Alt Driver. Well guys, we're back with another live revival video here. Uh, we've been having a little bit of sound and uh, audio issues. So hopefully everything's in sync now. I know a little bit before we were having a little issues with, uh, with the audio being a little off. Uh, so hopefully everything looks to be okay. I got Christian trying to check it out over there and also run the computer as well. So what do you think, Christian? I think it's good. Looks okay. So honestly, we're not really sure. Everything on our end uh, is solid from what we can tell. I know it's very easy to overlook some stuff, uh, especially when you got uh, us guys messing around <laughs> with it. Uh, but I think what we're honestly having some issues with is just our overall internet in our area right now. We live in a little bitty old uh, sticks area. We got 1,100 people here, so not a whole lot of anything and apparently not a whole lot of internet today. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started on this live video here. Uh, we get asked all the time, what's the oldest vehicle that y'all have ever worked on? Uh, what's the oldest vehicle that y'all have ever gotten up and running? And I have to say, it's probably going to be this one right here. Uh, this is a 1935 <clears throat> Ford truck, um, pretty old truck. So it's about 86 years old uh, is what we come up with earlier. We wanted to be sure that number was right as we we're <laughs> going ahead and can't edit that out. But anyways, um, on the motor here, we've got a little bit different than what you would probably expect to see up underneath here. There's not a flathead motor up underneath here. We've actually got an old Mopar engine, a 318 out of what the gentleman told me was a 69 Charger, I believe. Um, so it's just got a little two barrel carburetor on it. A uh, ton of miles, I believe. It's got some oil leaks here and there. It's definitely rusty, it's definitely dusty. Uh, but hopefully we can get it up and running. There's some major kind of wiring issues on this. It's just been uh, done up kind of weird, kind of maybe just to get it by type thing. Looks like I did it. <laughs> yeah, so maybe Dad wired this truck once before. Maybe you owned this truck back <laughs> back in the day or something. Um, there's not even an ignition switch in this truck, so we're going to have to figure that out. We bought an ignition switch. We bought some extra parts and stuff like that. Um, I was going to kind of show you guys around the truck a little bit more, but our GoPro just wasn't working right with everything else, so we decided to scratch that. 
So I guess what we're going to go ahead and do is just jump right in on this. Uh, we've got a hot battery that's been on the charger all day. Hopefully it's hot the, <laughs> the way today's been going. Who okay. knows? Uh, so I'm going to go grab the battery. It actually goes in the bed back here and uh, get to checking some other stuff on it. You want to check the oil out, yeah, see how everything oil. looks on yeah. that? All right, the oil's probably a good thing for me to check, so I can't mess that up. I'm so confused here, I couldn't even remember where I set the battery. So thanks everybody for hanging out. And I forgot to say, so go ahead, Christian, up front here. Mm -hmm. um, so we're actually, I dropped my mic here, we're actually streaming to two platforms here. So if you're watching from the YouTube platform on our Restore channel, thank you all so much for the support. Uh, but we're also streaming to our friends on the Alt Driver Facebook page. If you haven't heard about them, be sure to go check them out, give them a follow, give them a like on Facebook. A really cool page. They got a lot of cool automotive content on there, and they've been very supportive of us. So I, I hope that they're understanding with tonight. I, we didn't really know what was going on, and hopefully all the kinks are somewhat worked out here. Yeah, we're way over full, and it's, it's got a pretty, little gassy smell too. Pretty to dark, it. yeah. It? Pretty dark. So I don't know if you guys can see that there. It is. I wouldn't even say pretty dark. That stuff right there is almost dark. Yeah, that's dark, dark. So it smells like gas. I would say that uh, definitely going to have some some kind of carburetor issues. Maybe this thing was flooding out or something at one point. Got an old dead bird in the back. Dead bird. <laughs> it may be original. You could probably pull that breather off, and I don't know if we want to go ahead and try to start. Uh, Pulling out them plugs, see what they look like. That'll tell okay. us a whole lot of how it was running last. That's a little old breather on it. On this old truck here, um, it's pretty solid. Uh, the, the cab's all steel, the bed's steel. The fenders are fiberglass. Uh, the running boards are even steel on it. Uh, the hood's got a steel hood on it. Uh, pretty good shape, I have to say, for an 86-year-old truck. We'll show you the inside a little bit here in a little bit as I, after I get this connected up. I'm sorry it's been so long since we've, uh, we've been on here. We've, probably a lot of y'all know, we've been having some, some weird weather here in Texas, so. Yeah, and out of power, out of internet, out of everything. Can we, out of groceries, out of meat, out of toilet paper, it's been another one of those things here in Texas. I never ran out of toilet paper. No. <laughs> <laughs> you said too much. I start, start saying, maybe I didn't either. <laughs> I guess I should have showed them this one here before I started cleaning it. It wasn't too bad. So on the inside of this truck here, there's like a rat squirrel thing hanging up here I'm going to try to take <laughs> off so it's not constantly in my face. I don't even know if it's real or not. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Probably for luck or something. So the ignition switch has been robbed out of this truck, uh, but it's it, it, the wiring that is on it is bad, but it, there's not a whole lot of wiring to this truck anyways. I believe one of these three wires probably ran to it. So I'm going to have to connect that battery up, get the voltage meter, and test around. I need to find a hot one so we can send power down to the uh, starter solenoid to try to get to see this thing turn over. You may want to wait. Are you, t are you leaving them out? Just no, I'm, I'm taking it out, putting it back in. You I just leave them out. out, yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to do something to mark these wires then. Maybe I can lay them, lay them out so I can keep up with it. So if you guys were to, uh, if you guys were to do anything with this truck, uh, well, I'd love to see some comments. What would y'all, what would you be y'all's vision on it? Uh, the, the hubcaps and stuff are very unique on this. I've seen them on another old car. Someone probably could tell me exactly what they are. But I've never been too super crazy about the, the hubcaps and stuff on it. Uh, I, I love the body style of this truck. 
Um, just haven't really, just we haven't messed with it a whole lot. It's been sitting around for, for most of the time. So uh, seemed like a good time to get it inside here. Our, our shopping, our, our parking lot, shopping lot. Our <laughs> parking lot is so muddy out there. It was about one of the few that we could actually make it up in here with, so. Yeah, we, we had about a foot of snow that lasted about three days. It, uh, we had some terrible weather and then it was, then it was gone. Within a week, we went from like negative four all the way up to 70 degrees within a week. Yeah, dad works for the city, so he was uh, trying to keep water when the electricity went off for, what, 12 hours yep. here? Mm -hmm. uh, he was had it. You can tell him better than I can. <laughs> oh, I like to hear you brag. Yeah. Taking a story from him. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a, uh, it was a, uh, Pretty bad. I mean, I've, I've never seen it that cold here before. I'm sure it has been, but uh, I don't know if it's been that cold here before and then no electricity for 12 hours, uh, except for in the good old days. Uh, but yeah, we, we our well froze up, which is, you know, almost impossible to happen. But we had to use a uh, torpedo heater once we finally got power back on to thaw it out so we could even get water to town. Uh, we thought we had a major water leak, but what turned out to be what we thought was about a 500,000 gallon a day water leak turned out to be just a, uh, one of our customers was filling up their, their tanks at the same time, so that we were trying to fill up ours. Apocalypse Off-Road said, dead possum on the roof. <laughs> That's actually an old uh, dead, buzzard, dead buzzard on the roof. I didn't know they could see it. It does look like a possum. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it belongs there. So guys, on the inside here, I am trying to find a hot, a hot wire that's, uh, you know, hot right now, but I'm not finding one unless this is it, which is kind of small for one. Well, so we're going to change the oil in this since it's so over full and gassy and stuff. I'm going to jack the truck up where we can get to that, change the oil out, and then maybe I can see the wire that comes off the starter that's supposed to run inside here because we should have a 12 volt wire and I don't like having this battery connected up and not knowing where it's at. So it could be grounding out somewhere. I see we got an extra plug here. <laughs> a plug that's being used as a plug. Oh yeah, on the vacuum <laughs> line. Vacuum line, yep. Yeah. Huh. But yeah. Sometimes you, you work with what you got. And what better to use for a plug than a plug? Yeah. I just forgot, I wanted to show you guys. You may have uh so on the first time we tried to go on the live stream, you can pop it up inside here, Christian. Okay. On the first time we tried to go on this live stream. Uh, I was telling you guys about the gentleman that we bought this from was a big Gene Winfield fan and he tried to build this truck uh, to replicate a truck that he had built back in the day and did a pretty good job. It looks pretty close and pretty accurate. I don't know how oh, y'all can barely see it right here so I may move it just a hair. So he actually, right there, so Gene Winfield actually signed the dash of this truck back in 2017 there. So uh, pretty cool. He built some pretty crazy rides. That don't shut good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rat rod. May have to air it. Try to, this tire will hold air for about a minute and 37 seconds. But I may have to do it. Yeah, I'm going to have to shoot some air to even get up underneath there. Super low up underneath this truck. Uh, it's, like I said, it's got a Mustang 2 front end up underneath it. So it's got the independent suspension and drives, drives nice, a whole lot nicer than it would back uh, the way it was originally. Yeah. Another thing about these hubcaps is you got to take them off to air up the tire. <laughs> 
Dad, you got to have an extension on there that's about a foot long. Yeah. This is a homemade white wall tire here too. I don't know if you guys have ever seen any uh, YouTube videos where people do that. They actually take a grinder and grind down that black rubber on the, on the tire and that's how they make that white wall tire there. That's one you can tell that's what they did, took a grinder to it. There's another one you tell they taped off and took spray paint to it. <laughs> I don't think there's one real one on here. No, nope, this one had a grinder on it. The back one. How the plugs looking on it? Some of them don't look bad, but some of them that, that one's carboned up pretty good. There's one that was kind of rusty looking over there. Oh, that sure is. Yeah, check out this plug, guys. So this one's got a lot of, a lot of rust on, got up on it. So I don't know how water got down to that area to get it rusty, but they're not the greatest thing in the world. Yeah. Let me go ahead and clean those plug plugs. Oh uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm gonna try to see if I can't find the uh, drain plug on this. Uh, we tried to get the the right oil filter on here, so I guess we'll pull it off and see if we did or not. It's kind of got a strange, strange setup the way the oil filter comes off the side of that block there. Yeah, I seen they looks like they notched the frame so it would. Yeah, they did. Give you access to get at it even to even get it on there. Well, that thing sure is wobbly. <laughs> can you think you just hold it up while? Safety, yeah, yeah, I can. Safety glasses. Yeah, I stepped it up tonight. <laughs> Do I need to turn my mic off so they're not having to listen to this, or? Nah, I think so. Try to get some jack stands underneath here. I just got 500 comments saying, uh, please don't do that. That loud is, that noise is too loud. Oh, did it? Did no, I'm joking. <laughs> I was say, yeah, I bought it, though. <laughs> well, I, my mic's right here, and I'm right here. Yeah, you can mute it. I, no, oops. I'm joking. I messed up my punchline anyways. I said that loud is too noise. <laughs> <gasps> so back to our uh, excuses about not a lot of content here lately. We have been working extremely hard on a produced video that I know a lot of you guys are wanting to see a more edited style video. Um, we have one that I feel like, I think we all feel like is probably going to be one of our best, uh, best videos we've put out yet. And yeah, you can, please. you can see her, well, <laughs> there's numbers in the way, so you can see her <laughs> back there though. That's what it's going to be on. I'm going to try to go up underneath here and see if I can't. And if you can't tell what it is, I'm pretty sure we can explain it as a poor man's horse. Well, it's not that worse, but it's still a rich man's horse. All righty, that thing looks good and stripped. <laughs> So, we'll see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Del E said, plus you got a haircut. I did get a haircut. I got a haircut and trimmed my beard and kind of goofed up on our video though. We needed one shot with I have my beard and my uh, longer hair, so uh, hopefully you guys won't notice what we <laughs> how we have to fix that. <laughs> we had to we had to hire a stunt double. 
Yeah, they made me shave all my hair off, so. <laughs> Alright, wasn't as stripped as what it looked. It was actually just covered in grime. So. We appreciate y'all picking out the boat. Oh, wow, Dad. Hang on. <laughs> we gotta get a, uh, we gotta get a camera on this. Oh, yeah? Yep, this is not good. How can we get a camera down there? Uh, inside one? I can use the GoPro one, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, you guys need to see this. <laughs> and I hate seeing this. So I'm going to try to move this GoPro down here real quick. Dad's trying to get a peek for them. Well, I'm going to hold it for him. So yeah, if you can hold the GoPro for me, uh, you'll have to watch up there as... Honestly... Go ahead and switch to it, Christian. Okay. Where's my light? All right, guys, so I just got it pulled out, and I knew the first of it looked kind of thin, but it's also very clear. Oh. That's straight water. Yeah. yeah. That's where we lost that 500,000 gallons. That didn't show up on the stick. It wasn't milky, though, uh, huh? It wasn't milky. Really. That is straight water. I guess that's the reason it was over full. Oh my gosh. This thing may not turn over. That's great. It's not even getting darker. <laughs> it just clears. I could probably drink it. Maybe mineral. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm afraid of an old bucket. I was it's about not, to say, would it even hold it? I know it's not taking it very quick. Did you pop that little no. Thing? I didn't know it. I thought it was already popped. A lot of comments saying not that's not good. <laughs> yeah, that is not good. There's a oh, okay. Remember that little red? Oh, right there. Yeah. There we go. I thought you meant down in there. No, no. I don't like this oil pan. <laughs> I don't it's it just needs pan. a big hole in it. It doesn't need to breathe. It just needs a big hole. But the hole that they've got is so small, I guess, to try to keep you from dropping the bolt down in there and losing it or something. But. Letting it go down a little bit, or trying to, guys. It's still just coming out just as clear as can be. Honestly, it, it may be full to that, because there's that much, you know, I don't know how big this pan is, or how much it holds. It was empty, though. Yeah, it was empty. I'm gonna go a little bit more, and then I bet I gotta, there, there it goes, it's going down solid. I bet I gotta dump it. We have a few comments asking if it's water or gas. It's straight water. It's it's just it doesn't even smell. Has it doesn't really I don't know how that was not seen on the dip. There we go. They're getting a little bit of oil now. It's just been sitting that long that it never I don't know what it Well that dipstick that dipstick might not uh reach down it might not even grow out dipstick, might not go down far enough. True, or whenever it pulled up it just the oil just kind of right. went over where the water was. Yeah. You wouldn't have thought so. But. but how? We need to know how that much water got in there. Because that wasn't even, you know, that wasn't like antifreeze. That was straight clear. Well, I guess we can <laughs> check the radiator. That's what I said. It could be antifreeze yeah. for some people. Yeah, that's what kind of antifreeze I use. Well, <laughs> I, I didn't the other day. I, Dad, actually, Dad bought it for me. Let's go ahead and put that back. They kind of got to catch that and we'll let it keep draining there. The jack's right in the way. Crown Town Brewing says the fact that it's clear and not rusty orange is good. Yeah. So we had the breather on it. The, the hood has been on this truck. Uh, I don't, you know, it had been different if the carburetor just been left wide open and it was raining down in it. I'm going to go ahead and pull this uh, radiator cap off and look inside there, dry my hands off. 
Mm -hmm. Dad's snot rag. I found your snot rag. Grease rag. Radiator's not. I'm over here. Oh, Dad, Ooh. your mic is still off. Yeah, there's. How about now? We're good. We're good. Man, this might be another homemade BMWIZ video. Trying to find a long enough screwdriver. That's just like sludge down in there. Yeah. You know what? It, it looks like the it looks like the spring part that's like inside these things. Oh yeah. Yeah. Look down in there. There is water in it. It was very rusty and yeah. Let me try something here. Doesn't look bad up inside that. May pull may pull that valve cover off real quick just to kind of see. I probably should have been a dentist. Did you get it? I'm getting it. It's like a spring, eh? Yeah. Or just, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Had it been from like a... Christian, you want to switch that there so they yeah. can see what we're getting out of there? You're, you're going to have to hold it over to the side. Yeah, it's a side. little... The motor's covering it. Like, use the fender for a background something. There you go. <laughs> oh, this uh, there we go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Teamwork. Anyways, that's... Apparently the radiator's got a lot of iron in it. We have a few questions asking how long the uh, truck's been sitting for. This truck's been sitting for, gosh, how many years has this thing been sitting? Since we've had it or? It's been sitting for a while yeah, now, uh, so. I don't know exactly how long it, it had been sitting. The, the guy that I bought it from said that the, uh, the starter had went out on it. Uh, so hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully we'll be able to get it to turn over. But we may have worse problems than that right there. <laughs> so it looks like it's been sitting a little bit longer than what I had expected on it. Uh, so not exactly sure. Maybe the starter not turning over is what saved it right now because yeah. it kept it from... Or it could be locked up and... True, yep. You think yeah. I should pull this valve cover off or just go ahead and dump some oil down in there and... Hmm. It looks, it doesn't look bad up inside there, but I didn't know if they might want to see kind of what it looked like up here versus, you know, seeing right. that much water down inside there. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and pull this valve cover off, guys, real quick before I put oil in it to kind of show you what it looks like on the top end of this motor. Um, then I'll go ahead and move on from there. So I've decided what this is. That's some natural spring water. <laughs> No, that's bad. I guess that spring in that that hose probably just some kind of a started spring. rusting away and gave up. And what are those seven sixteenths? Uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, I'll have to reposition. You, which side are you doing? I'm gonna take off that side. Okay, let me reposition these spark plug wires so that they don't get. Yeah, I grabbed them earlier and I just guessed where you wanted to put them. Back. Yeah, that worked. I caught myself first. I'm going to go ahead and throw this old hat back on so y'all don't have to <laughs> look at me being too too much ugly. I mean, if we have to, we can find out where. So that's pretty much, yep, you nice. figure, one, two, all right. all right. Did we get any uh, comments, Christian, on what someone would, uh, what their plan would be with this truck, what they would do? Um, I didn't see Not any. A lot. Not a lot. We may end up uh, we may end up listing this truck for sale. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we had a few questions asking about that. So yeah, we may actually end up listing this truck for sale. We got to see what we got first here. Uh, it's a clean Texas title truck. Like I said, sheet metal wise and stuff like that. 
it's in great shape and you don't come across this body style I don't very often I love the chop on it and it's actually done really well a lot of people said it would be a daily driver oh yeah mm-hmm yeah that's what's so neat about these old uh, rat route rat rod style and uh, I mean, you don't have to worry about going to Walmart and getting a ding or a ping in it and that. That just just helps you out instead of having one of those forty or fifty thousand dollar Chevelle SS's that <laughs> you have to keep in a garage. Yeah, so I figured there might have been some comments on that car. Uh, has there been any comments on that uh, Chevelle that we pulled out of the shop here? So that actually belongs to my brother-in-law. He bought that thing. It's a nice, extremely nice car. Too nice for me. I would be paranoid about everything. It's funny though, the, the night that he asked us to bring it up here to store it, because it, we'd had that weather and uh, he had it in a different garage. And the night he asked us to bring it up here and, and maybe store it for the weekend, we had almost golf size hail damage that, on vehicles now. My wife's car got beat up pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, luckily we didn't do it until the following mo morning to move it up here. Otherwise, it probably got beat up driving it up here. Yeah, you know, my, uh, my wife's car got it pretty bad too, so we finally looked at it yesterday. Oh yeah? Yeah, so. Try not to mess the gasket up here. That hell damage, there's, there's really not, not a whole lot you can do. Yeah, it is kind of rusty up in there do to protect it except sure for this. What I could see didn't look too bad, but that don't look too good, does it? No. Yeah. Well, how well can you guys see that up here on this overhead? Not real well. Let's get a light. It's got some grime and crud up in there. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of air and try to try to blow it out just a hair. Keep it from falling back down in there. Go ahead and let's pull that one off, do the same okay. thing, and then we'll go ahead and just dump some oil down in it. And see what she does or what she what she don't do. <laughs> just curious. Uh, I'm gonna get that plug put back in the pan. We'll finally get all the water out of it, I guess. Yep. Crazy though is it did smell really gassy. Yeah, too. I know it. That's why I assumed it being so full, it was, you know, just had flooded and filled up with gas. Yeah, but like I said, the radiator is still got yeah, it's still got water and stuff or antifreeze in the, in it almost, not all the way full, but up to the the top of the ribs there, anyways. So I really don't know a whole lot about these old early Fords. I believe that they come out with the uh, V8 in '32, uh, would have been just a flathead V8 and. Uh, I don't know, uh, there's some guys, you know, they can tell you every little thing, how the grill's a little bit different here and there. Uh, you, I see a lot more cars than I do with trucks of this. Uh, but we, we come across this really cool old ad we're going to go ahead and show you guys pretty soon uh, as we're taking this off. Probably go ahead and wait until we get that blower out so we don't kill, kill y'all's eardrums. Uh, just going to try to blow this out, get some of this gunk out of these uh, tops of these heads before we put more oil and stuff in it. And I guess maybe go ahead and put uh, something on this crank and see if it'll turn over uh, by hand once I get some oil back in it. But uh, I think he's about got that pulled off there. Just about got two more left.
And that one there wasn't, it wasn't my finger loose anyways. It might have been finger loose for somebody. But. Kristen, you want to tell them about our new merch that we've got? Yes, I can. Um, we currently have about three designs that we're trying to uh, get out there. Uh, right now, all we have at the shop is the original rainbow flag design, but we also have uh, old Betsy ones of the uh, station wagon. I think we did a live video, can't remember how many weeks ago, but we did that. And then we also have a shirt that's going to be coming out uh, of my Uncle Frankie. So if y'all seen the um, abandoned cars in the swamp video, that's the one that he was in. So uh, we're super excited about these and uh, yeah. So yeah, you can go on uh, www.be-restore.com if y'all are interested in buying those. Uh, the, the wagon and the shirts of my Uncle Frankie are just pre-orders right now, so hopefully we'll have everything. Uh, the wagon one should be here pretty soon, maybe a couple weeks, and then Uncle Frankie's is going to be probably more three to four weeks. If y'all hear me stumbling on my words, my earphones <laughs> are delayed, and I, I'm focusing on what I'm sounding oh. through there, so I'm like, uh, uh, uh with my words. <laughs> See ya. Don't let them fool you. She talks like that all the time. I do. Them gaskets are not real good. I thought mine had stayed on there, but I guess it only part of it did, actually. Yeah, part of mine tore there. Need a flat blade or something? I've got one right here. Oh. Get her to turn loose for me. There she goes. Try to see if I can't figure out what size is on this crank here. Oh, yeah, this is about like your side was. Pretty rusty. Yep. How big of a sockets we got over here? Large, medium, and small. <laughs> I'm going to try to get a socket down here on this crank pulley uh, where I can just turn it over by hand with the ratchet until I can figure out the wiring and make sure that it's not locked up. Well, right off the bat, first one. That don't normally happen. Not for me, anyways. You getting the right one? Yeah. I may have too long of an extension here, though. Thank you, Sheldon Benson, for the $5 super sticker. And hopefully this thing will... I'm going to need, Dad, don't we have another... Uh, shorter? Yeah, that's about half that size. I'm sure we do. Uh, it might be over... I'll be over here. I can go check real quick. Yeah. I'm not seeing it anywhere over here, so that means it's probably here. <laughs> Is it not on that red, on the red one? On the red cart, I didn't see it anywhere here. That's where I thought it was going to be. Uh, I meant to clean it up a little bit before we started. The other one's just a little bit too long. Thank you, Eugene Backyard Repair, for the $5 super chat. It says, towards more WD-40. <laughs> And thank you for the beef jerky. I've almost ate it all myself. <laughs> well, I, I ate some of the kangaroo. <laughs> what do you hey. need? Uh, well, I thought I, it won't turn over by hand, that's for sure. Um, and that other socket is just, I need an extension that's going to allow me. Hey, Dad, could you check that GoPro real quick? I, I think am, it, it got unplugged here. Okay, just making so, sure. Um, Oops. I'm going to have to. Rework yet, probably. Uh, 
If y'all bear with us, we'll get this one back <laughs> up and going. Yeah, I accidentally sat on it, didn't I? Gosh, bub. <laughs> Trying to get it to come on. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. I'll try that. All righty. Come here with a little bit more technology savvy. Let me. Put a little piece of tape down here on it. Maybe keep it from pulling down so easy next time when you run across it. I think it must have unplugged again, huh? Uh, 411 MDA says, Christian, do the t-shirts run true to size? Um, they run a little bit on the smaller size, but, um, but yeah. <laughs> but they don't shrink. Right. That's what I was trying to end it with, but I couldn't think <laughs> of the words. It's not working. Oh, we have an issue. Yeah, it's not working. I think it's going to be in our... Uh, sorry about this, guys. <laughs> Mess with it a little bit more. I hate to know when I set on that. I know how to fix it if it don't work. Well, if you want, I can play that ad real quick. Uh, yeah, let's take a short commercial <laughs> break real quick. The Ford Motor Company is proud to present the new Ford V8 for 1935. Down through the years, the Ford has blazed a trail of progress. The car has always been the symbol of reliability, economical service, and honest manufacture. Back in 1908, the Model T Ford was the sensation of its time. Fifteen million of these cars were made. Then came the Model A Ford. Like the Model T, it still retained the title of the universal car. And then, in 1932, the introduction of the Ford V8. The first time an eight-cylinder car had ever been offered at a low price. And now we bring you the biggest, finest Ford car ever built. The new Ford V8 for 1935. Here is an automobile that combines all the resources, the engineering genius, the faith and the courage of the Ford Motor Company. Here is everything that anyone could want in an automobile. Beauty, safety, power, speed, dependability, economy, and comfort beyond your greatest expectations. All right, Johnny, you first, then Priscilla, then Tubby, and then you, Paul, you join in. The 35 Ford has a new sort of thing For making it ride like a bird on the wing On good roads are bumpy, no sideway or swing And they call it the new sensor poise You call it what? The center poise, that's a new Ford idea Gives the car perfect balance, center poise, center poise Poise will be poise Are you ready, Priscilla? You tell us about that new soft clutch It's fine for us girls to know that the clutch will keep us from having to struggle so much. So easy in action responds to a touch. Here's the 1935 version of the man on the flying trapeze. The new Ford V8 goes through the air with the greatest of ease. There he goes again, again, and again. Try that with another car. We figured if we could get the Jones family inside the new Ford, it would hold anything. There was an old lady who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. So she put them all into a new Ford V8 sedan, and they had lots of room. Why shouldn't they have lots of room? The seats are wider. Some car, right, eh, Fred? You better sing, aren't you? It has beautiful lines and the colors are new. It's longer and broader and roomier too. It's finished with style and with class who went through. Oh, it's truly the car of the year. It took only a moment for Dad to go over and untie him. And soon he was inside. And Bobby was satisfied. That little Ruth thought of Betsy over in the field and asked if she could go too. Poor Betsy looked so lonesome. Dad smiled and said, no, the upholstery was much too rich for a cow. Oh, it glides on a road with the greatest of ease. It's a new car without any need. 
All right, guys, so we got our camera working. Uh, all we needed was just a slight commercial break. Uh, pretty cool old ad, though, that we had found. I forgot, I was telling y'all about it and then never even uh, showed you guys that, but uh, how much things have changed over time, um, especially like what people think is funny, but <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, uh, we're going to put some oil kind of up on the top of these heads to let it go down in there, and I'm going to try to get down on this crank. I found that extension we were looking for. Try to see if we can work this back and forth. Uh, Dad's just pouring some oil up on the top end right now. Got it blown out over the ads. <laughs> Kind of got a little sloppy, but you always need to oil your exhaust manifold. So, <laughs> so do we have a time limit on this one? Uh, yeah, five once, minutes. Once it runs. <laughs> wow. Well, or we give up first. Whichever, whichever happens first. Oh yeah, I'm, I oiled my exhaust manifold up real good too. So. Yeah. You need a... I'm gonna put my cover back on to finish it. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to kind of get some on those. Well, you need both sides just... to smoke. That way you know where it's, <laughs> yeah. where your leaks are. I'm gonna go down here and try to see. We may right. need to put a little bit of something down in these. Probably do. Probably need to put something down in those cylinders. Yeah. I don't know if you want to put oil or transmission fluid. We got some transmission fluid over there. Probably just use a little bit of that. Let really. me grab that real quick. I'll let you. There's a funnel there. You want me to just put the valve cover back on there? Yeah, you can. I'd go ahead and dump some of this in there real quick if you could for me while I'm down there. Working that back and forth. Just kind of curious of what this is going to do. few comments saying to uh, check the oil filter for water too. Oh yeah, yeah. we need to pull the pull oil filter yeah. off. Yeah. Yep, we sure do. I'm trying to find me getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah. Well, I ain't gonna lie. Whenever, uh, whenever I seen all that water coming out of there, it completely changed <laughs> my uh, mindset of how this video was going to work out for us. <laughs> Well, not only did I oil the exhaust manifold, but I just lubricated the exhaust pipe, too. Thank you, Eugene Backyard Repair, for the $5 Super Chat. Say, God bless family. Back to work. I'll catch rerun later. Thanks, Eugene. Thanks for hanging out. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sorry we didn't get started when we were supposed to, but... <laughs> I guess we'll get finished when we're supposed to. By the looks of the way this truck is, oh, we probably should have started two days ago. Man, I knew that thing was going to be too long. That bar's too long. I don't know that I've got a shorter one. I may have to cut it real quick. Uh, I don't know. I start to say there. There's a piece of pipe. But back on our, our, our next episode that we're talking about, our produced one, uh, it's going to be on that 68 Beetle, uh, but we've got some cool stuff we're doing on it. We're going to slam it down, we've got some, a cool paint scheme, cool, uh, we're going to do some engine work, we're going to have to Pull out, pull out the pistons, the jugs, dual carburetor set up. Uh, really excited. We are aiming, we are aiming so hard to get that video out to you guys as soon as we can. Uh, but we're putting a lot of time in the production, and it's, it's one of my top favorites so far. 
Man, it is not wanting to move, Dad. <laughs> Boy, this may be fun to get on to. <laughs> there it goes. I ain't having much luck with this. I'm trying to get my foot on it here. If I pull the truck on top of me, yes. <laughs> I got that right on your face. <laughs> well, I, well, that was the one that had the rusty plug. Hey, I think it moved. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, right in the mouth. Oh, man. Uh, I can't wait for the comments on that. <laughs> Well, that is a good sign. <laughs> yeah, I bet it is. <laughs> I just got baptized, <laughs> sprinkled or something. Oh, man. <laughs> I was about to give up on it, too. <laughs> What's bad is I had it right on Dad's face. <laughs> was it on the uh -huh. one? <laughs> of course, I work, work with my mouth wide open, so it, it's a... Uh, that cylinder had <laughs> transmission and water in it, so. Did water really come out of it? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yep. Huh. I wonder, I wonder if the head gaskets or. I don't know. I would, I'm maybe, well, I don't know. Unless water set up here on the intake and it went in through the intake. Right, yeah. Maybe That's what I would guess with the, with the radiator still having water in it. What do you think, Dad Possum? <laughs> Jeff RG said, we need a slow-mo replay on that. Yeah. yeah. Or just a reenactment. Where was my stunt double then? Forgive my mind being everywhere, guys. I was telling y'all this great story about our <laughs> next uh, our next video, and uh, got sidetracked with I don't know, Dad drinking. Washing my mouth out. <laughs> well, I had to wash Dad's <laughs> mouth out real quick. Uh, but check this out real quick. We had our friend uh, Daniel Moffitt Moffitt of Moffitt Motorworks do us a really cool render of uh, our next vehicle we're building. So there she is, Herb. Number 13, there's a cool story behind that. Number 13 that y'all all get to know about it. Uh, I've had a lot of fun making this video. I think Christian mm -hmm. has too. She's helping us work on it too, a whole lot. She's getting a whole lot of hands-on on it. Uh, but that's what she's gonna kind of look like. Uh, she'll have those, those wheels, that style. Uh, if you notice, if you know a whole lot about Volkswagens, it's kind of got the early style. Yeah, 68 wouldn't have that type of fenders and headlights on it, so we're converting that over and welding in some front aprons, rear aprons, to make it be able to accept the old tail, uh, deck lid and old hood up front. It's gonna be a fun little car. That oil filter was only full of oil. There's What's no it? water in it. So how does it look as far as us getting the right one? That's what I was just fixing to do a comparison here. We it looks like, it. looks like it'll work. It's a little bigger, but the bigger the better. I think uh, Dad picked that up yesterday, and we weren't exactly sure what they, the guy had said this motor come out of, so we tried to, or the guy tried to reference it by the number, but I believe he... I believe he told you that he thought maybe it would, the oil filter was from Mexico or something. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I'll have to get it out and see if somebody can tell us. Because he couldn't. I had taken a picture of it so I could give them a, something to reference it by. And he was going to, he said he had never seen anything like it before. 
So how are we looking at on time, Christian? Uh, 56 minutes, exactly. Oh, wow. An hour. So we're going to try to get this. It did move over some. I'm going to put some, once it gets that filter put on there, going to fill it back up with oil and turn this thing back over, back and forth some more. No, I guess just a picture I had of it just didn't show everything because it's an STP oh, yeah. oil filter, but all we could read was the Filtro D right there. Hmm. We couldn't see the, I mean, that, that part of it you couldn't see and that part was kind of hid, so. Anyways. Well, it worked. I thought that story was better than what it, what it yeah. was, apparently. Shouldn't have told that story. <laughs> well, it's, it's better than the story I was telling about the something whenever he squirted me in the mouth. So. These valve cover bolts tighten back up here. Top it off with some oil. May check this brake, this master cylinder, see if it's got any brake fluid in it still. See if it's full of water too. Well, they didn't give you any room to. Tighten that filter maybe a, a eighth of a turn every time you make a turn. Not ready. <clears throat> Good enough for me to start filling it? Or? Yes, sir. If not, it'll show me and I'll start tightening it down again. Gosh. <laughs> it's going all over the place. <laughs> Still got to get up underneath there and figure out the starter wires and stuff. Well, this may be fun. It came off really easy. But... Yeah, I think it's got to go up underneath that alternator first. There it goes. Once again, wasn't holding my mouth right. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, if any of y'all happen to be interested in this truck, like I said, we may, it may be something that we're, we uh, end up selling. Got a lot of stuff going on at the shop right now that's, you know, taking funds in different directions. So if you are interested in us, or you're interested in the truck, uh, our, our email address is on the description of all of our videos at the very bottom. So just shoot me an email and uh, we can talk about it or whatever. Y'all may want to see what the outcome of this is. It's got a real good motor, still got the original water in it. <laughs> All right, no, I'm just glad we found it before it was. Close your mouth and put your safety glasses on when I'm... <laughs> yeah, I didn't even have my safety glasses on when that water hit. <laughs> I'm going to try to turn this a little bit more, okay? <laughs> yes, sir. So if it happens again, I warned him, guys. Well, good grief. It better happen again. There it comes. Yeah, it's still squirting water out of that one there. It's Boy, it sure is down. hard to turn, though. Try to go back the other way.
we've been experimenting with our internet providers so we got a new one that had excellent upload speed like excellent in comparison to the one we've been using but tonight was our first time to try it and something went haywire there so it's a good thing we still had our other one on backup yeah and what's crazy is we've been working on this since 10 this morning yeah Can get very aggravating at times. Man, that's a lot of water coming out. Yeah, there's a lot of it still. Yeah. Get my old foot up here again. Love will come gushing, so I'm gonna get a, get a good one. <laughs> it I'll might it. I was kind of getting close so I could see down in there. Shoot across the room. <laughs> oh, it ain't doing nothing. Man, it ain't going no more that way. Normally for me, they've always, you know, once they take that first little, little spin. Yeah. Boy, that fan is sure close down here. Then, can you turn that, will that water pump fan turn just a hair? Because somehow it has spun and got right in the middle of this pulley. Uh, there you go. That'll work. Doing something because I see the fan moving. Yeah, it, it will turn, but then it's then that fan gets right back in my way. Old flimsy fan too. Yeah, it is. Flimsy, but it's got about eight blades on it, so it's, yeah. they roll around real often. So it's it's working back and forth, guys. But I hit one spot going one way where I it won't budge, so I'm trying to get it to go as far as I can this other way. I want to leave this jack up underneath here because I ain't too confident in them jack stands. I think I trust the jack more than I trust the jack stand. It's just that radiator so close down right. in there anyways. I'd like to see at least make a, get these keys out of my pocket. Make a complete rotation? Yeah. I can try it if you want me to, but. Yeah, you can give it a shot. It's a little easier to get it to go counterclockwise than it is clockwise. So he said it's shooting out a whole lot of water back here on the back. Is it the back cylinder? It, no, it's the uh, next to the last the, one. The third one there. Was that the one that was rusty when you pulled yep. it? Mm -hmm. It was? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. I bet. Because look at, did you see the top of this intake? It's so yeah, it's rusty. rusted right in that area. And you say you're going counterclockwise? Counterclockwise seemed to go a little easier for me. I can't. Okay. Yeah, kind of. I have a few questions asking if you could put some heat to it and see if that would make it any easier. Uh, probably not on something like this because it's going to be 
Where it's locked up is down in these cylinders. Uh, it's rusted up where the pistons are, and they're so tied in there anyways for compression. It's just going to take wow. working it back and forth, getting fluid down in there. Uh, the problem is this radiator's so close, and that fan keeps getting right in the way. See, it, it go pretty good there. And I don't know if I could get down in there and figure out the starter, if the starter might bump it hard enough to... I would just rather know where that it went. Yeah, because it hits that one spot right there. Can't get on that. Alternator to kind of help you with the push. I'll have to switch to the other side there. Maybe I can pull better than I push. So you're trying to go which way you're going? Well, I'm trying to go counterclockwise right now and it's hit that spot. Yeah. Uh. Well, if we're going to have a locked up ve uh, vehicle, it's going to be on a while. <laughs> yeah. It's going to loosen the bolt up. <laughs> Oh, da, da, da. let me see if I can even see where this. So I'm gonna go clockwise with it and see what we. A bunch of comments asking uh, if you could pull the plugs and like dump in uh, diesel or something. Yeah, so we got the plugs pulled out and we put a little transmission fluid down in there. Uh, we were hoping that you know, with it when it once it moved, that maybe that would be enough to work it back and forth. But sometimes, yeah, you have to go ahead and let them set over time with some kind of diesel, Marvel Mystery oil, uh, something like that. I mean, there was a ton that y'all seen how much water was up in there, so. Uh, it's probably even rusted down there on that crank as well, not only in the cylinders, but we're just trying to see if we can get it to break free from there. And I'm trying to figure out this starter where I can possibly, and the light just went dead. It's starting to. About to, yeah. Uh, trying to find the starter wire so I can try to bump it at the starter. Oh. Time wise? Uh, 109. 109? An hour and nine minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that threw me off. <laughs> yeah, it's not even making a Rotation very far at all. Uh -uh. Okay, so let's. So this wire right here looks to be like it's going to be our uh, to our starter solenoid, which will actually engage the starter. <sighs> So I'll try to keep that in a spot. Carburetor looks good. Thank you, Pierre, for the super chat. He said, here's a donation for the good work from Pierre. Thanks, Pierre. He's been a follower for a while now. Thanks to all of our members and stuff. Um, we, we miss y'all as much as uh, y'all miss us on this. So we were, we were excited to be able to get back in here and connect with you guys. I know there's a lot of mixed feelings on the lives and this and that, but uh, we have a lot of people, we have a whole lot of people that really, that really enjoy them. So uh, we just figured our best, uh, our best route on this was to be, just to go ahead and do our production style videos, uh, which would be about an hour long videos. And while we're making those, they just take us a lot of time. Cause I mean, we're, we're doing a narrow beam, we're painting the car, we're, we're doing a ton of work on it. So we just do some live streams in between, so. Uh, Seems to be what works best for us right now. Oh, 
Okay, I think I got this figured out. So I think this one is the one that ran to the battery. I've seen a few comments asking if you could do a cheater bar on a ratchet. I've got one. You do? Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah, I wish we had a camera down there. That's what dad, he's down there and he's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling mom. <laughs> About the cheating or about the bar? <laughs> Thank you, Charles Wallman, for the super chat. Said, for a new right front tire. <laughs> it definitely needs one. It's leaking around. Uh, it's actually got a hole in the, uh, in the rim. In the rim, yeah. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little rigging here for right now. So what I'm gonna do here is I found uh, I found the wire that runs down to the starter that engages it. But I can't find the, the hot wire that would run either from uh, the battery or could run off the alternator. There's only one wire that runs uh, straight off the, the battery. It runs to the alternator, so that's going to be the wire that actually recharges the battery. But it doesn't run back inside the truck. Uh, there's another wire here. I can't really tell what it runs to there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a wire straight from the battery up here to this spot where I can just bump it across. What we may have to do, Lance, is uh, take that belt off that fan. You think that's... To keep it from rotating against me right. so that I can... Yeah. That'd probably be the easiest thing rather than taking that fan off. Yeah. But otherwise, I'm going to have to keep fighting. We can take that off. That'll be a little less it's having to fight against to, you know, turn over as well. And what I'm thinking about doing is get it, figure out which, you know, which way it's turning with the starter and pull it back and then hit it and pull it back yeah. and hit it. It might help a little bit. Unless that starter's bad like he thought it was. Is it in a spot right now? Which way do you think that thing turns? Hard to say, huh? Uh, I won't say it turns. If I was gonna guess, I'm gonna say it's gonna turn that way. Right. I guess I'll just try it and see what it does. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to see, I'm gonna bump this. I might turn this camera down a little bit more where y'all can see if it is. Well, he's turned, taking that loose, so I'll wait on that. So you won't see the fan turning anyways. The fan's kind of fighting us right now. And that's as far as that one. Which looks far like, is it? No, it looks like it goes somewhere. Unless. Just trying to take this belt off so it's not having to turn over the uh, water pump, not having to turn over the alternator, which it's not a big deal, but this fan just keeps getting right in our way when we're trying to. Oh, and the above GoPro is out again. Went out well, I probably bumped it, uh, messing with it here. I just noticed it, so. I looked up there a while ago and it was working, so I know it's going to be something that I've done. Gosh, Dad. <laughs> These little GoPros have been a booger today. Well, while you're doing that, can I show them uh, what we've been working on with uh, 
a new project? Sure. So we got to shoot some pretty cool little opening shots that I really think y'all like. Uh, probably one of the best days ever for me. I've always wanted to go and see this kind of stuff, so I really enjoyed this. But yeah, I think y'all really enjoy seeing it all. Or maybe get your hearts hurt because you see it crushed, but <laughs> it was really a neat experience. Keep talking, keep talking. <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, here's another shot. <laughs> I don't know why this thing is, it's something with this power cord. It was a short video, so. <laughs> I tried to save y'all. Thank you, uh, Shane Lee, for the $20 donation. It said, swamp that Mopar back to a flathead V8. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I, yeah. I, I think something needs to be uh, changed on that part of it <laughs> uh, as well. I'm a, big, uh, I'm a big Chevy fan, so I don't know what I'd... Uh, I've got a pretty bad little 383 stroker motor over there that would be sweet in this. All right, I got this working again. <laughs> Don't touch it, Dad. Yeah. He'll probably sneeze on it and it'll quit working. There we go, it's working. Great. It should come back on, <laughs> right? I thought I so. He kind of bumped it hard, so. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't come back on. Mm -mm. Uh, thank you, Blaze King, for the $1 okay, donation. I would just, we're about to use a starter. I, I wouldn't worry with it too okay. much. I've got it, yeah. We're not going to run it long enough to get hot. So, can we just cut it? Sure. I mean, we'll have, it needs to be replaced sooner or later anyway, so. Oh yeah, sure it did. So yeah, uh, if you guys missed it earlier, oh, we actually got it. some uh, new merch that are be coming out. Uh, we have our original rainbow restored shirts. I love them. They're like super, super vibrant when you get them. Uh, but we also got our old Betsy that should be coming in pretty soon. Uh, it, that we actually did the old station wagon about a couple weeks ago. And uh, got it waxed up. It's real nice looking. And uh, Micah Doodle did great, great job on drawing it up. And then we also have a shirt that's going to be coming in of my Uncle Frankie. So kind of get it in uh, that'll be over the past one of our, I think our second video. And it's uh, over the abandoned swamp that he was in. And it's a really cool shirt. Both of them are just, I think they're going to be really neat when they finally come. So you didn't mention the, the best one that's in the works that everyone will probably want to know about. I guess I forgot. You forgot? forgot. You're eating a sandwich. Sandwich? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one's also in the works. So hopefully we can get a shirt out of me doing a burnout uh, while eating a sandwich. So if y'all would like that. I mean, I would like that, but if y'all would like that, y'all might have to talk Bub into it a little bit more. <laughs> no, we've got we've got Micah Doodle working on that as well. So, okay. all right, back to it. Let's see. Is this light about to go dead? No, it just looks like that. Yeah, uh, I think it's about to go dead. I think it just looks like that on the camera. Really? Yep. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Christian, is this working? I left it recording, yes. so I'm not going to mess with it. We're right. just going to have a long file on there. I'm about to try to turn this over. Dad's got it in a spot. As long as it turns the right way we want, it should turn over a little bit, hopefully, as long as I've got the wires figured out right. So let's see. Let's see what it does. He had to cut the belt. Well, it had a big cut already in it, so right, that I go. put in it. <laughs> well, I'm. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thought about the time I did it. I'm probably still going to get doused. Nothing. It'll come when you least expect it. Uh, let me make sure. Oh, duh, Lance. I never connected it back here. Yeah, I did. So it's hot there, hot there. Grab that uh, voltmeter, please, Dad. Oh, here it is. Sure. Thank you, Charlie Bellflower, for the $5 Super Chat. He said, I ordered one of the each of the new shirts. Cool, thank you. 
not getting much power. Uh, let me better ground somewhere. I'm not getting much juice there. I was showing about two or three. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be that hot battery I was bragging on. <laughs> now I bet I ain't got a good ground here maybe. I clean these posts. It almost has to be the ground. Keep checking it, Dan. Okay. Or I guess I can, let me check the battery, just to be safe. If it's dead, <laughs> then uh, the enemy bet definitely didn't want us to do this video today for some reason. No, it's good. It's, 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 it looked, first, it looked like it was gonna. It only hit the 5.9. Let me get over there and I'll work the I'll work the cables and you work the the magic. I'm only getting I ain't getting an old power here. It's gotta be that ground cable there. Thank you, David Sedlak, for the $5 Super Chat. It says, love the show from the 54 Chevy Diamond Dave. I've got a good, I've got a good ground there, and it's not. Okay, I'm taking this ground off for a second, see if I can't. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You might try to flip it upside down if it's got a band. It seems like it's okay, but it's really rusty, like. Yeah. I'll try it upside yeah, down. You might put it in a little bit more bind. No, oh, just three. Why are we losing so much? Well, I think I'll see if I got another cable here. Yeah, there, I thought I seen in a box a little bit further up, Lance. I think I seen a cable in there. That's what I get for nosing around. Yeah, left over from. Thank you, else. George Sheehan, for the five dollars super chat. But is there any place Dad, to kind of ground it to real quick that's not going to take us? Uh. Really, is there? Not really. But maybe I can. Surely I can just kind of get it up against that. We have some it. jumper cables. There's something just to ground it a little. Help the ground it some. I've got some in my truck, but you want to try to use this right here though, and try to see if it'll. Yeah. You find a place to ground it. I'll give it a try. Nervous. <laughs> how, long we, how long we got? It's an hour and 24 minutes? Mm -hmm. Oh, we got plenty of time. Why'd you have to say that? <laughs> no, you won't. Done jinxed us. I kind of like our little overhead uh, angle up there. Yeah, it makes you look like little leprechauns. <laughs> I'm still only getting nothing now, right? Huh? Shouldn't we get nothing right now? No, not really. Watch, I'm trying to ground right here to this frame. Which I don't know how they've got that bed mounted, you know, if we're grounding to the bed. Right. Let me run and get my jumper cables. They're just, just right outside the door. I'm gonna have to try to, what I'm probably gonna do is clean some, some rust off that frame rail there and just buy script those, that cable there. And Dad's gonna try to get some jumper cables to try that, but we'll see. BW said, checking the time. Sounds like hunger setting in. 
No, that was about six o'clock when we were <laughs> supposed to be live the first time. Should be getting some power there. I cleaned off the spot. You can try that. We might be able to vice grip that end, you know, if okay. it seems to send something. Did you see where I did it? Yeah, right here on the, the frame. Yeah, that's got it there. Uh, do you want to try to vice grip that or you want me to? Yeah, I right. guess if you can, if you want to, either way. It's going to take some, the way that motor is, it's going to take some oomph from that battery. Thank you, Chris K, for the $10 super chat. Said, so you guys keep up the great work. Thank y'all. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for all the donations here. I hope everything's been working out okay on the, uh, on the feed as far as the audio and the picture goes. I'm just really bum-fuzzled about our internet connection now because I was so excited about we have a seven, a seven megabyte upload speed with the connection we have right now, which is really low. And this new internet provider was 40 something. So we were so excited to use it today. And then maybe there's something we're, we're, we're overlooking. But anyways, hopefully it's working okay. Got it? Got it. I'm going to try to see if this will bump over. I Christian. you may want to check it just to make sure I'm I mean, I'll I've check got it, it again. Yeah, just to be sure we're getting the, the 12. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Christian, I need you to come stand right here. Mm -hmm. And catch this. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> You're setting me up. No. I know this is probably going to If you wouldn't have gave yourself away, I probably would have done I'm it. I'm very optimistic that it's going to just shoot out everywhere, but yeah. it's liable just well. to get old. Let me stand right here. You don't get the computer. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'd be so Remember. mad. All right, here we go, guys. And it locked up. So I guess you'll spin it back again. Yep. Uh, what to do with the... What to do with the ratchet? Here it is. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to... He's going to work it back, and then I'm going to do the hard part of touching these two wires together. <laughs> There is still stuff coming out, though. Yeah. So. I guess we were going in the right uh, direction with it, huh? So it actually goes. I don't know. I didn't. <laughs> I wasn't even watching. I wasn't either. I bet you're going right. But oh my goodness, it's frozen. That spot now where it won't go either way. Be careful down there, because I don't know how well them jack stands. I think it needs to go the other way if it's going to go that way. There it goes. Seems like it moved decent a bit, though, huh? Yeah. There we go again, guys. Get out of the way. Oh, well, just, I saw it huh, on the other side. Out. Yeah, it just doesn't seem like it turns as much as you turn it backwards, does it? I didn't even see it move at all down here, so I was like, "What happened?" Uh, Let me try to. Like I said, watch out on them. Uh, I don't really know what to do. We may, if it doesn't, ouch. That's not smart. Hang on just a second, it's, the wire's getting hot. Okay, here we go. Golly, <laughs> did you see that? Uh -huh. I, I've seen something spray out that way. We got our arcade games. I'm glad that didn't hit me in my mouth. 
I'd have drowned right there on the spot. I feel like it coming out with more pressure like that means that we're getting somewhere. <laughs> I'm getting thirsty. <laughs> I could well, go over there. Yeah. Water fountain. I can switch you, Dad, if you want me to do that for a little bit. And you no, don't. this is fine, huh? I always wanted a job I just lay down. <laughs> we should have used this for a thumbnail. It looks like someone's like ramping over Dad or uh -huh. something. Wish we had more room for a bigger uh, bar. It's going further because is I'm it? having to to work it more backwards. So that is outstanding. All righty, <laughs> here we go. Oh my gosh! <laughs> is there any way we could put a camera on that? I have it on the side angle, so it's. Oh yeah, so they should see it. Yeah. Right? Are you guys seeing that? And it's, it's not locking in as hard as it was a while ago. I think a few more rounds and it's going to be, it's just going to crank up. Okay. <laughs> My gosh, you're hitting the lights up there. You're going to have to repaint the walls. I thought that's what you're doing now. Is this one still recording, Christian? I think it is, yeah. The top one? Yeah. Yeah, do that one. Let's try it. Here we go. Okay. Oh my gosh! I wish I had a camera on that, that wall. <laughs> I can turn the inside GoPro. Yeah. Is it getting a little easier, Dad? Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost asleep. <laughs> Oh, you mean turning it. How's that look, Christian? Is it... I don't think that might work. Yeah. Maybe too far away to see, but we'll it's see. starting to come out a little uh, little darker. At first, it's completely clear. Is it going all the way around now? Yeah, I made a lot of, it didn't go completely around, but I went a long ways that time. All right, here we go. Pro Nothing's come out this side, though. No, it's a little one. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well. We tried. We had fun. <laughs> well run dry. Did you just turn turn the camera that way or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the reason. Yep. I kind of hate right. it because it is kind of look bad on the wall. Uh -huh. <laughs> we probably should have, we should have had you over there holding a bucket. You could yep. catch it. <laughs> Once it does it again, if it ever go through it, I think we really need to put some more transmission fluid in there though to kind of help it. It sounds a little dry. This is going to do the whole thing, huh? Almost. Almost. Okay. Yep. All right, guys. So we have made some success. Oh, my. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm glad good. I wasn't standing over here. <laughs> it looks mm -hmm. bad. I'm glad it shot it this way instead of that way because it would have got the computers. Let's it would have got put, me. I think if we just put a little bit, I think it's just mainly that one, honestly. Yeah, just this. put a little bit more in that one so it just kind of helps to lube it and I'll hit it again. Uh, I think you're right, though. I think that intake held that water up there. Yeah, and I don't know if it's... Somehow got down in there. Somehow got in it. That's the reason you never give up. No, well, one of the reasons. Another reason is Christian we ain't won't finished let us. the video yet, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> what? Five minutes later, well, we gave up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can always use a little SpongeBob thing. Three days later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is she like? What in the world is he talking yeah, about? Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> uh, what? 
Chuck. Apparently this one's got a lot of compression on this one. <laughs> we got one cylinder. I just cylinder. don't know where to stand to make uh, sure. I, I don't want probably. It to, I don't want it to really spray. Yeah. I'm just going to stick that paper towel there. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that sludge that's coming down that fender? Oh yeah, that's some good old. Uh, Which cylinder did that come out the of? The very front, well, no, the second one. Yeah. You can see it coming across the manifold. I might there. need to keep doing that then, keep putting some. <laughs> you know, it smells like pancakes. <laughs> it smells like pancake syrup. It does smell like syrup. <laughs> All that you're doing the linseed oil a little bit too oil. soon. <laughs> you're getting hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit more in here. If nothing else shoots out, then we'll go for yeah, like it. Yeah, that's some water, nasty water mixed with transmission fluid. I think you just enjoying shooting, shooting <laughs> the blood out of them. We're about out of it. Come out of that one, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The front one had some come out, but it just barely come out, and it was just fluid. That other one was spitting, bombing out. Oh, I better be careful just dropping that wire, that hot wire. Oh, something hit me now. Lots of compression coming out of it. Wire's already getting hot. Um, we want to try to put the plugs. I know we're running a little. Gonna, it's going to sneak up on us before we know it. Our right. two-hour mark. Let's go ahead and throw them plugs in there. We've got it turning over, so we'll need to get uh, figure out the how that distributor's wired in. I guess I'm assuming it's probably not points, maybe electronic ignition. Looks like it's yeah. got a little ignition box there. Bet. So I gotta figure out which wire that is. <clears throat> I'll try to figure that out while you're doing that. Right. Turn the scope Let me do that while I'm trying to find the plug wire, I mean plug socket. Did you take it off while ago or did I? Did I do what? The socket, did I move the plugs with? Oh, I put it right over there. Okay. Is that about right, Christian, for the inside? Somewhere? Yes. Okay. Pull this hot wire off. Hoping it's gonna be that wire there. Can you tell where that wire runs? It goes to that box, don't it? Uh, two of them come to there. Come to there. Yeah, it goes over yeah. there. So that's going to be it. So I should be able to just hook that wire into hot wire as well. <clears throat> there I was talking about how rigged up the wiring is. And, and I actually did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. No, they actually, they actually did better than me. They used some uh, black tape and a zip tie on it. That's more than I'm going to get involved on them, usually. Thanks, everybody, for being patient and hanging out. I was just fixing to say, you know, some of them are actually, some of them gave up, I think. Uh, Whenever we had the, the lock up on it. Yeah. So some of them actually got to see. I'm just going to make this long farther. enough where I can run it. Pretty good ways if I have to keep up with my tools. We got to remember to put the oil in it too. May not have to, it may have enough water still in it to. 
lubricate it. I have to say, well, yeah, I have to say that's the probably the most water I've ever seen come out of a vehicle, out of the oil in that. Uh, your Tahoe was the leader on that. Yeah. When your intake gasket blew and, I mean, it filled it full of water. Yeah, I think we've told the story before, but whenever I was going to school in California, I had a 97 two-door Tahoe, still have it, on my first vehicle. And uh, we were headed off to California in about eight hours from here. We were still in Texas, eight to 10 hours. It blew a intake gasket and dumped all my water in my oil. So we, we put an intake gasket on at a gas station there and uh, God opened doors and led people into our life that day that, that give us tools to fix it with and uh, give us, I guess, knowledge to even know how to do it because we weren't real you know, real knowledgeable on a whole lot of that stuff it back was, then, but. Uh, I had all the parts available and everything yeah. and just uh, didn't have a whole lot of knowledge on doing an intake gasket at the time. Had plenty of it now. So this wire will be, you know, you just run it through your door. Just be careful when you're shutting the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think this wire right here is going to be the wire that runs to our... Um... It's kind of not too good to shut it. Clean it up a little bit, maybe put a clamp on it. Inside down. Throw my safety glasses down there on the ground. <laughs> I'll step it's on It's got to run as messy as the shop's hitting here. That is true. Christian, you're, you're going to have all day to be spending clean, wiping these walls down. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tim Neely, for the $20 super chat. Yeah, it did. It sprayed way, um, at least four foot over top of those arcade games. Thing's got the old typical three foot long rat rod shifter in it. That should work to hold that for now. Not to pick those up too, Christian, when you're cleaning. Mm -hmm. Linkage even working? Uh, I don't know. It's Ouch. The wire's sticking out. I said it looks pretty bad there, but. I can't even figure out. Stuck. Looks like it's stuck. You officially have 15 minutes if you want to hit the two hour mark. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Of course, this carburetor stuck, froze solid. You better hurry. <laughs> Another thing, this carburetor's being stuck on every live. Yeah, that, the last couple, two or three we've done. Like stuck hard, really hard. Here in just a second, I've got last two. Try 
trying to spray down this linkage here so we can get the carburetor to at least try to open up. Or I was about to say, they, can, they can pretty well tell that there was no pre-inspection on what we <laughs> what problems we may have yeah, we, before we started this. We spent all of our time fighting the camera gear. Looks like it when you're pushing it's acting like it's trying to pull backwards, but yeah. I think we're both. Yeah, like I said I'm <laughs> just about done, but I'm gonna try to find uh well we got our little gas uh, gas bottle at, you know? Uh, oh, there it is. I'll put some gas in it. Thank you, Dark Side Harley Girl, for the $25 donation. Uh, she said, for a new blanket seat cover. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's all yours now. Got to put some uh, glass in the side of this thing, too. Got the window regulators, but that's when they chop the top for the side windows. Uh, just the windshield and the back windows. But flat glass, normally, you know, not that big of a deal. But we said, the guy did a really good job on the, on the chop. I don't know how many years ago it had been, but it ain't all cracking out and stuff like that, like you'd expect. I think it's just like that stinking uh, mercury, mercury was. But if we can get it where it's idled down. Yeah, that was the thing. It was. Act, it's not in the cable part of it. It's actually in the carburetor itself. Where it's... I think I think we can at least see if it's going to try to crank. Yeah, try to do something. All right, so trying to go through here everything. Oil. We already put oil in. Okay. Thought I did. <laughs> Could have swore I did. Check it. Let me find the empty jug. You don't scare me now. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I, I didn't put the oil in it, but it, we should probably check it and see how it looks. See if that dipstick even I, looks. I, I don't even think it's reaching down far enough what I was. Yeah, maybe the wrong dipstick. It may have it on there. Thank you, Sandy H., for the $15 donation. Uh, they said, we love watching your lives. Thanks, Ron and Sandy. Thank y'all. I know that, like I said, I know there's a lot of people that uh, do enjoy the lives. Uh, we enjoy doing them. It's a little little quicker for us to be able to put that kind of content out. But I really, I really love the produced style videos myself. They're probably my favorite. Uh, but we just aren't, you know, we don't do like a, I guess we just put a little bit more time into our videos um, just on a lot of different levels. You know, we've got one, one camera girl sitting over there. We had a camera up on her too and it, <laughs> it, it crashed with us before on that first run. But anyways, we have one camera person so when we're trying to film with the multi-angles and stuff, it really slows things down a lot. So, uh, But we are putting out the produce style stuff. But thank you all for hanging out on this live style stuff. We love it too. And uh, be, once again, be sure you can watch us here or you can watch us on the Alt Driver Facebook page as well. So we've got the plugs put back in. Dad got the plugs put back in. I put gas right there. But okay, we got yeah. some carb cleaner too. I think I found the wire that it's going to be to go to the distributor as far as to get it to get in fire as, all, as long as it does get fire. Maybe she'll pop off. Make sure uh, it's in don't gear. See the car. There it is. There it. Well, I don't it's like empty. this. I don't like this linkage here. So it's kind of it's kind of scary to me. It just doesn't seem like it's real safe. I got a little carb cleaner, so okay. Ben, that's a little carb, so it works out well. <laughs> 
Uh, so I've got that wire. All I got to do is connect it and then run this wire here, touch it. I don't remember which one it was. I think it was this wire. Yeah, because I was getting out of the way, right? It wasn't that wire. I don't know what that wire is. So we may have to figure out that wire might run to something else. Or that wire might need to be hot too. So we'll see. Sure. It's, a, it's a mess. And I feel like I'm only making it worse. Well, as long as you don't blow a plug out at me, I'm... <laughs> You're scared <laughs> by hitting in the face now, ain't you? As much compression as that stuff was blowing water out. That's, that has as much pressure as a six inch main. <laughs> What are you snickering about? <laughs> <laughs> She's probably like, no one knows what six inch is. <laughs> six inch main water line. I'll be more specific. Did you put any in? Yeah. You already did? Yeah. Here we go, guys. What am I hearing? Uh-oh, I see smoke or something. Coming but there's something smoking. Yeah, it's been doing that at one of our, I think there's, I think all that oil that we spilt out down there is, but I thought I heard. I th thought I heard a little crackle. No, I thought I heard something pouring out. Oh. Oh, both hearing stuff. <laughs> I think something's pouring out right here. I don't know if it's trying to, I don't know. We'll try it again. Not turning over real fast, is it? Mm-mm. Shit. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where those wires. It's not, this wire's not getting real hot. I don't know if it's, a, it may be the starter because it may still be just kind of, it's kind of stiff there. But I'm wondering if this wire here don't need to be hot as well because that probably runs to that ignition box. Probably so. But no, honestly, it looks like it runs, it runs back to the back. Oh, why are those hot? Them brake lines are hot. Something grounding against it? I guess so. He's got wires zip tied. I mean, they are hot. Touch right here. Oh, yeah, that <laughs> one is. Yeah, something's something's Let me grounding. disconnect that. And... I'm going to have to file on my workman's comp or something today. I mean, I never, never would have thought brake lines. Yeah. They're hot though. It's just the one coming here to the front. So, see anything touching it? What I can do is there's a wire that runs here to the uh, alternator. I can just disconnect it for right now so in case there's a bad spot, you know what I mean? In case right. there's a bad spot and it's grounding somewhere underneath the truck. I say it's that one right, that baby right there that's hot. That other one's, it's not bad at all. So you would think it would have to be something. Because there's only the main wire that comes off the battery po case uh, post that goes to the starter. And then there's one other wire that runs to the uh, alternator and that's it that comes up here. So. Everything else we're pretty much bypassing. I've got this wire ran, which I ain't got the greatest connection in here. Wish I had a little small pair of vice grips. There may be a pair over there. Where at? Maybe over there? I was thinking over in the toolbox here, but maybe not. How are we looking on time, Christian? <laughs> Your son. Uh, we're at five minutes. Five minutes left? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't see See people that. asking if it's a grounding issue. Uh, something is, some uh, hot wire is grounding out apparently on this brake, brake, ca uh, brake line here. Which is probably why the, the battery's kind of slugging and this and that. I just need to know I'm getting a good, them vice grips won't connect down very, they don't even close down all the way. <laughs> oh, you want a good pair. Put them on the small pair. Just need to know I've got a good connection in here. 
Now I've got all the wires away from that. Okay. Well, let me make sure. I'm tempted just to cut those zip ties and get it completely off of it. Well, that ain't gonna work. I don't have no place to put them. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Uncle Bob O slash C A R for the seven dollar super chat. Uh, it says for small vice grips. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we want to try it again. Uh, yeah, I think so. I just don't <laughs> know if we're getting the power to all that. Just trying to see if we're missing a wire here. What is that? That wire there goes. Oh, that's that one I just got rid of. And these wires here should run back. That one runs to that. That one runs to that. And it splits and comes. You never know if the... Oops. So where, there's a, this is a wire I need. It's, so, Cause I'm not getting hot to my coil, I'm sure. Okay. So that blue wire needs to be hot as well. So let me, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> I feel so uh, overwhelmed. No, I feel so dirty for saying about this wiring is so bad, and now what I'm doing to, <laughs> to try to make this episode work. Do not try this at home. Or if you do, don't let anybody know you did. <laughs> All right, so we're going to use this clamp to clamp onto that. To the yeah, to this side wire. of it. Okay, and then I'll. Connect it in here. You want me to go ahead and hook it now or wait? Wait just a second. Okay. Let me make sure. I'm... Christian, when it gets down to the last three minutes, you start the countdown and start. You're already you're already <laughs> past it. <laughs> Is it one eight? You got one minute. One, oh. Oh, you're starting at 60, 59. <laughs> A lot can happen in one minute. Okay. You want to check that at the coil? Coil. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I hate it. We didn't make the two hour. You still got about 30 seconds left. Oh, I ain't got them connected back here. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't getting nothing. He's, he's putting in the, the suspense to it now. All right, should be. And then, yeah, that's probably right. Yeah. All right, let's try it again. Lord, please help this thing to crank <clears throat> so we can get something to eat. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, let's try it. There's something still. I don't understand why that brake that brake uh, line is getting so hot. <clears throat> I don't feel like we're getting fired. I don't either. Check it with that thing. Yeah. <clears throat> Who knows if the ignition in this thing's any good? We didn't we didn't get that. I'll hold it there, it's probably. Yeah. We are? We got a, a spark. There's something over there. Something's dragging that battery down, too. 
That thing is hot. It's hot, Golly. yeah. Golly. What do y'all, <laughs> why do y'all think this battery, I mean, oh, why do I keep calling it a battery? This brake uh, line, unless it is just a bad, just a bad ground, it's not grounding good enough back here. It's clamped good though. It looks like it would be grounding great. What do y'all think? The thing should not be getting that hot. <clears throat> no, I mean, that's, leave a welt. Yeah. Hot. They're saying brake line is ground. But I don't really see why that would matter. To me, I mean. And a few people say engine ground. Oh, that is hot, hot, hot. <clears throat> Trying to get it up away from that, just a hair. <clears throat> There's a ground wire that comes off the engine over here, but it's not grounded to nothing. But really? But there's no way to, it doesn't have an end on it to, to ground it to anything. I think we're not getting enough, you know, uh, turnover with it. <clears throat> Let's try it one more time, then I'm going to go get our jump box and hook to this and just try to see if it just needs a little bit more oomph to... Or I've got another battery even. Yeah, I've got another battery. Right. It doesn't help that you can't, can't work the throttle on it. I know it. That just blows my mind on why that thing is. <clears throat> this one here is fresh off the charger. So. The cables on the battery, just as cool as can be. There's nothing, nothing hot about any of them. Oh my gosh, the biggest mosquito just <laughs> blew right by my face. Well, if you get that thing spitting again, you might be able to <laughs> shoot it down. If it ever crank, we'd smoke them out of here. Wish we had some. Do we have just regular old starting fluid? Yes, there's Which, some right, right there. I helped give it a little bit more. Let's try this other battery real quick. See if it made any difference. It's right off the charger, so. Everything should still be connected. I mean, it's, it's encouraging to know we it did spark over there, though. But. There's some. I can hear it. <laughs> I hear it crackling. Yeah, you can hear it sizzling. But there's nothing. There's nothing touching anything. There's no there. wires ran to anything. The only wire that's ran to this truck is to the uh, to the starter down there. What is it? There's 
stick your tongue and just follow it <laughs> down to where it quits burning. See, I see this main wire here. I'm gonna feel if it's hot. I mean, there's nothing here. That big battery cable looks absolutely fine. That runs to the starter there. It's not touching anything. Definitely not touching anything there. And then all the only other wires I've got ran is that wire right there, which we can try to go to the other side of it, you know, just connect it straight up to the cool as we have to. It's right there. Twelve volts. So. I just wish it'd turn over more. I just don't Faster. know if it's still somewhat. Uh, could be there's still so much transmission fluid in there. It's just I know that stuff will burn. You know it'll ignite, but. Uh, just I just don't understand where the where the. Where it's grounding out, how it's doing that, and why this brake light. That makes no sense. This wire here is the only thing, but it's not even. Oh, tried, didn't it? That's something. Let's let it just sit there, just cool okay. off. If something's getting hot, I don't know what it is. <laughs> What's that? It's that line itself is. What was that? Oh, goodness. I don't know. I but don't that know. line's what's smoking. Yeah. The brake line? Yeah. Uh, George Sheehan said the hissing is boiling brake fluid in it the line. It probably is. Yeah. So I guess, do we need to move the ground to somewhere else? I mean, I don't understand why. I don't understand. This is a first for me. Like, I've, I've never experienced that. What, when you do this? It is sparking. Sparking. So we get some kind of a... Few people are saying to use uh, jumper cables to uh, to make a ground. You might try that. Yeah, we've got some. I just don't know where to ground uh, where to ground it at. I mean, maybe I should just ground it up here where this other one would have originally been up here on the bed, you know, or like right there. Right. Got something. Try to ground it somewhere else. <laughs> Bullet fell out of my gun. Someone said ground strap on engine to frame. A few people have been saying that. So I don't think we have another strap. You said that one's disconnected or something? Yeah, it's, it's just a small one, but I'm just going to use maybe jumper cables. Yeah, yeah, to... that'll work. And a few have said to ground to the engine, so just some different ideas. <laughs> Are you trying to ground to the motor now? Yeah. Uh, I don't see anything 
it's it's not a good like head bolt or something. Thank you, Coastal Auto Reaction, uh, for the twenty-one dollar super chat. Says, boys, ground the engine to the chassis with the ground strap on the passenger side, then ground the engine to the body. Cheers and God bless. So we're trying to do now with some jumper cables. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have any other kind of straps around here. Or okay, we'll go with that. Try it. Yep. I'm hoping that it'll at least turn over a little easier or stop the stop the smoke in there. Earth line heating. Nothing. Did I lose? It is the right wire, yeah. What did I lose here? Oh, I, don't, I bet I'm not getting the ground. You have to go back to where it was. And... I just don't understand, though. I feel like going back to where it was is making it. Should be getting the ground, but it's back right at the exact same spot it was. Sounds a lot better, don't it? it? <laughs> Thanks, guys. I bet she's going to run now. Not being able to give it any is it, gas. Is it still getting fire? You want me to stick my finger in there, don't you? Well, that sounds a lot better. Yep. Getting fire? Getting fire. Just ain't getting enough gas, Sandy. Maybe pour some gas. <laughs> Ooh, if I put that hot wire on that. <laughs> <clears throat> Try just for one, yep. one, one split little. second. It's this jumper cable. Jumper cable. Okay. I said, I wish that carburetor was. Yeah. It's getting close. I don't know if y'all can hear it trying. I think it's, think it's going to try. We just don't know which antidote. Is that all we got? That was, I was hoping it wasn't, but. Tire shop.
few people are saying the timing sounds a little bit off. Yeah, they're start they said that uh, a couple of plugs could be wet. Yeah, I think they're just so wet with that transmission fluid and stuff. But, uh, we're gonna give it a couple more turns, bark check channel, we'll pull them out real quick and uh, clean them off and then put them back in there. It sure does make it hard though when this carburetor yeah. is on. Yeah. Yeah, we can only make sure choke. we can do the choke. Something's frozen on it. Uh, I'll probably put a new carburetor on it anyway, so that thing gets yeah. pretty wet. Oh, we're saying somebody's we that you lost your mic, bub. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you maybe hit the mute or. Oh man, it just went off. Hmm. Well, here you can use my mic. Sorry about that, guys. Thank you. Oh, man, that, that one went dead. We can plug that one in, though. What are the odds of that? All right, guys, y'all should be able to hear Dad say something. Can you hear me now? Uh, Y'all should be able to hear both of us. Christian, you're just going to talk real loud. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, girl. Let's go. You want to pull them out or? Yeah. Uh, try one last minute thing, guys, real quick. Are they there? The, what size are they? Five eighths. Five eighths. I find an extension. There's a long one up here. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna see what these plugs look like. See if hopefully they're they're super wet on the ends of them. We're getting fire down uh down to them because Dad put the little tester on there. They're oh soaked. wow, <laughs> they're just soaked, soaked, soaked. Should we pull them all out? And I don't know. I don't know how much stuff's still down in there that needs to come out. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they are so. I don't know. Uh, do we try to blow it out again, or we can do it one at a time? You know what I mean. That way, we're not. I can just turn it over now, or we can pull them all out. And let's just pull them all out. Okay. I'd rather pull them all out, turn it over. If there's any extra stuff up in there, we can get it out. Did you tighten things? <laughs> Loose. Oh, yeah, right 
Yeah, go for a set tie. Did you try with a ratchet? Oh, no, I finger tied. <laughs> The finger tight ain't good enough. Well, the it. finish on these fenders is coming out nice with all this. I can't believe it was even trying as much as it was as wet as those things are. We didn't have enough backup gear to back up footage to help keep us safe on this one. That one was dry, so that may have been the one that was firing. Keeping your wires. Yeah. I need kind of a shorter. There's one. I got this. Turn it over, see, hopefully something will come out of it. Can't believe my mic went dead. There's a lot in there. Yeah. I can see it. Yeah. One that was squirting out so much a while ago, it's still just a lot. You can see it come up there and then it sucks it right back down. That's the way these ones are. You think if I should like take and try to spray down in there or like with air? Or yeah, probably wouldn't hurt. Just don't know that we've got a lot. Pressure, compressor's been on. Probably just it's just pushing it. If the valves are open, it's just pushing yep. it. Uh, let's just go back with them. I had to help. I don't know why I threw those inside the truck. It's gonna be cool. <laughs> no, I was like, well, I don't want to put them on top of the truck, and so I just threw them inside. <laughs> I'm looking at the time here, guys. Yeah, 220, 225. Well, we got a late start, too, so. Yeah. Somehow there's a lot of oil up here. Did you see that on that top of that intake? Well, there sure is. I think this is going to be the determining factor on the uh, ending of this video, you know. Well, it'll, I guess it'll land soon regardless, but we'll, we'll see if it's a happy ending or a... Continued later, three yeah. days later. Christian, hope you, hopefully your ranchero's not got some hidden If you wanted a mic, you could turn that other one on. That's fine. Eighteen hundred people we've still got here watching with us. Thank all y'all for hanging out. Yes. yes.
Yeah. We could have tried something like that. I'm hoping, though, there was a lot of fluid come out of Dad's side and my side, too, so I'm hoping this will do the trick. Now, them two wires I may have got crossed. I think that I think the carb cleaner was our best best try. You know, seemed like it tried tried the most with it. Probably so, because that's what we got the least of. Yeah. Gonna give it a few more minutes, guys, and then I may end up having to dig into her a little deeper later on. Let me let you squirt that in. Right? There you go. I couldn't hold it straight up and down over here. I sure wish that would open yeah. up just a hair. Just anything to. Well, you could rev it just a hair. Yeah, play around, let it get. To... <clears throat> you know, most of the time they'll they'll be stiff like yeah, that, but a little stiff, and then you just. But that's the way that. Uh... Yeah, that's the way that, that mercury, mercury was. was. Yeah, it's, it's still it's it's just as hard right now, and I've had it soaking so. I tried. I tried. I'll almost take that if it would go a little bit more. Uh, I don't want to let that starter get too hot, so just give it just a second. I think we might have some more uh, carb cleaner. We got some brake cleaner here. I know it'll. I think it'll fire off that too. <clears throat> uh, three cans of it, and all of them. Don't make a noise whenever you rattle it. Well, it tried though, didn't it? Yep. Well, you wasn't listening as close as I was. It ran. <laughs> uh, gas or starter fluid? <laughs> yeah, we need more gas in there. Yep. Well, you said something about holding your mouth right earlier or something. You think maybe you've been... <laughs> Here we go. The victory run. Come on, girl. Oh, come on. I pushed it further than I wanted to. But man, it sure tried. <laughs> I bet that's so annoying on that. So what do you guys think? Any, have, is there any suggestions, any comments? 
I know what it needs. It needs new spark plugs, new wires. Carburetor. Yeah, new, new carburetor. Uh, needs a lot of stuff that we're just trying to rush through here. Let's give that a shot. It seemed like it was, it seemed like it just not getting enough, huh? Cause like right, you'd yep. have to spray it heavy and then once it, it like it would pick up off of mm -hmm. that. so close and that's so aggravating when it's like that. It's not really aggravating, but. I said if you could pump the, pump the carb, it would. I almost feel like if we took the carburetor off, you could run it without a carburetor easier than. <laughs> We've done it before. Yeah. I just can't figure out what's stuck on this. Everything's. The thing above it. Yeah, it's free. Some people are talking about the throttle, maybe. Yeah, yeah. it froze up. It's froze solid. not able to get anything, but I mean, just what it can barely suck through the, the butter flutter by. I think it's, I've got it wide open too now. Well, if you a shot, I don't like the starting fluid though. Uh -huh. I was trying to read what they were, what they might have been recommending. Maybe from the fumes. Come on, girl. guys she may not fire up and run <clears throat> run for us tonight she's right there at it she's right there at it she's i'm about to plug to just wet again wet again mm -hmm. yep until we can get all that out you can really take the carburetor off. yeah i had another one to try to put on it though uh, And we don't have enough carb cleaner. We ran out of carb yep. cleaner. So a lot of guys are using brake cleaner to crank them up, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we normally always buy carb cleaner, but I've seen some of you guys use brake cleaner. Uh, I've got some brake cleaner. I just don't know how combustible it is or how well that works. So what do you guys think about that? I do have some of that. Few people are saying take the carb off. I want to see the suggestions on the or the thoughts on the brake cleaner. 
said I've seen lots of guys using it. We but just. Leader is more flammable than arsenic. I'm saying use it. Try it. We'll try it. I mean, we've already heated up the brake line, surely. <laughs> yeah. That might come out pretty heavy. It's not like the battery, maybe. Yeah, I know it. about to lose our battery. Yep. Uh, I don't know if that other one was... Was bad or whether we right. didn't have a good connection. I mean, ground. I'm glad we scheduled this for a 24-hour one. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something if you're doing a 24-hour marathon? You're like a 24-hour. I guess if you were like. Not if it's going this well. <laughs> we may have to go to Old Faithful. We may have to pray. Should have been doing that a long time ago. <laughs> Heck, I don't mind praying real quick. See if okay. God will give us favor. Dear Lord, I just ask that you give us favor on this to crank up, Father Lord, and nothing more than just a, just the excitement of seeing this old thing run, Father Lord. But either way, if she runs or if she don't run, Father, we, we love you, we adore you, we thank you for each and every blessing that you give us in our lives, Father. Uh, but Lord, we just ask that you would lay your hands on this, Father. We've done what we've done. We've done what we could do tonight, Father. And uh, we just thank you for, for hearing our prayers, Lord, uh, keeping us safe throughout the night, Lord, and just being with us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. All right, we'll try. If I got everything wired back in here. Break clean again. It hasn't really fired much off that uh -oh. though, has it? You wanna try gas? I think fill it up with a little gas first to give it the, the wet it's wetter wet throw. It's whistle. Man, I just want to rev that yeah, thing up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Man, that's awesome. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> yep. Right there, guys. We should have prayed a long time ago. Should have prayed a long time ago. All right, God's in control. If you don't believe that, then uh, <laughs> you should. So thank all of y'all for hanging out. I'm going to call this good on this. I know, it, I know it can run a little bit better than that, but we've already went over our time mark uh, the where we wanted to. So we may pick back up on this vehicle. I don't know. We've got a lot of other projects going on as well. Uh, don't forget about the old Herbie bug. We're working real hard on it. You can switch it over here, Dad. You got something to say? No, no. I was just, uh, I was just reading some comments on that. And I appreciate everybody uh, standing with us, being with us, and, and agreeing with us in the prayer there at the last. Uh, you know, if we'd have thought of it two hours ago, we'd have been done 30 minutes into it. So. Yeah, but who'd have known <laughs> this thing when we drug it in here that it would have been full of water, locked up. Uh, spewing water all over the walls. Christian's gonna have to clean up. Carburetor still needs, we're gonna replace that carburetor and stuff on it. Uh, just do a few things to get it up and running. We want this truck to be something that at least cranks up and you know, you could drive it on the trailer if you needed, if you were living long distance. I don't think I'd be daily driving this thing without going through rewiring it. Uh, I don't even know if I'd wanna keep the 318 <laughs> in there. But anyways, uh, thank all y'all. It's been yes. fun, it's been a blast. Uh, like I was saying, stay tuned for the Volkswagen. Uh, really excited about that video. Uh, should be coming out. We're hoping, you know, three to four weeks. I know that sounds like a while. We appreciate y'all's comments. I mean, yeah. grounding this out. I mean, uh, yeah. 
I mean, I just, I just couldn't understand why the brake line was getting so hot, but. Me either, and uh, y'all probably, it made perfect sense, but that never happened to me, so you learn something every day. Uh, I was also going to say, so next week we've got some things going on uh, that Thursday. So we tried to do these live uh, live feeds on Thursday. So it'll probably be next Thursday before we see you guys again. So Not, right? not this coming Thursday, but the next. Right, not, yeah. this next, not this coming Thursday, but the next Thursday. So unless we pop out, hey, we, we found it. Yeah, unless we pop out another little video. We did find the first video we ever filmed for this channel that Christian filmed for us. We may throw that up for members only, or we may throw it on the channel or something. So when we were getting the parts Rancheros for her car. So, uh, Christian, get over here real quick. We'll, we'll tell him bye. You can do the, the wide shot if you want. There you go. All right. So uh, we're going to see you guys off tonight. Uh, thanks again for everything. Uh, be sure to go check out Alt Driver. They've been a huge support to us. And uh, God bless y'all, and we will see you on the next one.